Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to do a maximizing revenue type problem. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's uh, jump right in. It says, owners of a car rental company have determined that if they charge customers P dollars per day to rent a car, where P is between 50 and $200, so P is uh, greater than or equal to 50, but less than or equal to 200, the number of cars N they rent per day can be modeled by the linear function N of P equals 1000 minus 5P. If they charge $50 per day or less, they will rent all their cars. If they charge $200 per day or more, then they will not rent any cars. Okay, hence the P is less than or equal to 200, uh, greater than or equal to 50, right? So at 50, they will rent all their cars. At uh, more than 200, oh, is it more? Yeah, less than 50. No, if they charge $50 or less, they'll rent all the cars. If they charge $200 or more, then they'll, they won't rent any cars. Assuming the owners plan to charge customers between 50 per day and $200 per day. Okay, great. Okay, uh, to rent a car. How much should they charge to maximize the revenue. So given that this is what they're going to charge, okay, no less than 50, no more than $200 a day, and this is the number of cars they're going to sell, um, based on the price, or the number of cars they should rent, I'm sorry, based on the cost of what they're going to charge per day, okay? So at 200 or more, zero. At $50 or less, um, they're gonna rent them all. Okay, so now, um, let's see here. So that's, so what are we trying to maximize? We're trying to maximize revenue, right? So that's what we're trying to do. We wanna maximize revenue. Okay, so what's revenue? Revenue is based on the number of vehicles they rent and the, the, the price per day that they're charging. So revenue, okay, which is again based on price, is going to be what? The price they're charging times N of P, which is then going to equal 1000 P minus 5 P squared, right? Okay. So now, Now what we have to do is we have to find maximum revenue. Well, this curve, notice it's quadratic. So this curve represents a parabola that opens up downward. So we know on this closed interval, there's a maximum point. Might happen at the, uh, uh, in the end points, but, but again, it's, it's opening downward. It's a parabola, so... Um, there is a maximum point in the interval. Okay, so now, um, now that we know our closed interval and we've got our profit fun or our revenue function, so now what we're gonna do is, um, find the maximum point.
okay? And since it's continuous over the closed interval, and it's bounded, right? Closed bounded interval, then there is an absolute maximum, okay? And an absolute minimum, by the way, uh, in the interval. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the critical points. And so again, to get the critical points, we have to find the first derivative, which is then going to be equal to 1,000 minus 10p. And we're gonna set this equal to zero. And so that means p will equal 100. Okay? So that's $100 per day that they should rent their vehicles at. Okay, so now, um, so let's look at the, so let's look at the critical point and the endpoints. So, when P is 100, so revenue of 100, is going to equal a thousand times a hundred minus five times uh, ten thousand, right? Uh, which is going to equal what? squared, which is 2,500, right? And so this is going to be 50,000 minus uh, what? Um, Twelve thousand five hundred, right? Which equals thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. And then at two hundred, it's going to equal a thousand times two hundred. Oops. Minus five times. Um, 40,000, right? 200 squared. Which is going to equal what? 200,000 minus 200,000. Which equals zero. So this shows that the maximum pro the maximum revenue will be if they charge hundred dollars per day for renting their vehicles, and that's it. Have a good day.